How's it going everyone? Uh, it's springtime, kind of. It's kind of cold right now, but it's supposed to be springtime. So it's time to plant. Um, as you guys know, if you've seen my videos, I have like four or five fields. We've got 20 acres here, so i got plenty of room to plant in. But a lot of my readers either live in cities or towns, or maybe you just don't have, you know, that kind of space. So um, one thing you can do is container gardening. And I like to use these big-ass barrels. Let me show you. Here's one that I've already done. You can see down in there, it's got dirt in it. And it's just a, you know, big 55-gallon barrel. You can see them. They're probably not 55-gallon. I don't know. But anyway, so this is what you do. You take your barrel. And you're going to drill holes all in the top. You can see there or the bottom of the barrel, you're going to fill with holes. Can you see the holes? Yeah, there you go. You can see them now. So you're going to fill the, the bottom of the barrel with holes with a drill. That allows your water to drain out. If you don't have that drainage, what you're going to end up with is a hell of a mess because your potatoes or whatever other plants you put in there are going to rot. So I'm going to try to sit you up here so you can, so you can see what's going on. You're gonna take your barrel here. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab this. And I start with just some topsoil. And I know what you're thinking. Topsoil sucks. You're not going to be able to grow anything in that. What all it's for really is to cover the holes so that when the water drains out, none of your good soil goes through. So it's just a little barrier. Then you get yourself a bag of actual potting soil. And you rip it open with your Hulk hands. Bring you over here with me. And then you're just going to dump all that down in there. Like that. And then you're going to want to smooth it out. I'm going to see if I can switch this. You're going to want to smooth it around. Get it kind of even. I like to use a shovel for this. Because I'm getting old, I don't like to be bending and digging and all that. Just take the shovel. And just kind of spread it around a little bit. And then you get your... Put you back up here. Then you get your potatoes here. And what these are is just seed potatoes. All a seed potato is, is really just a potato that's been sitting a hell of a long time. So if you don't want to go out and buy actual seed potatoes, you could simply go to the supermarket, Walmart, Food Lion, whatever, and buy yourself a bag of your favorite potatoes and then just sit them somewhere and just forget about them for a little while. And so what you got is just little potatoes. And as you can see those, when they start growing them little bad boys, that's when you, you look and find them and you say, shit, that's old, I gotta throw that away. No, that's a seed potato now. This will grow a bunch of more potatoes. So what you're gonna do, and you're just gonna put these down in here. See, like, like that there. That one's rotten as hell. Put that one away. In here at all. <clears throat> okay, so basically that's what you're looking at. So 
So then once you get all those in there, you grab yourself another bag of potting soil. And all you're going to do is try to cover these up. And don't forget to throw away all your trash. Because if you don't throw away all your trash, then this is what happens. It goes flying through the dam everywhere. And then your wife comes out and she sees the mess that you made and she puts her foot in your butt. And you don't want a foot in your butt. So make sure you clean up your mess. Which is what I'm doing now before she comes out and sees the mess. Okay, so now the dirt is in there. So then all I do then is just give it a little smooth out. So then it looks just like the other one. Now, I know you're saying, man, that's a little bit of dirt and like only 10 or 15 little potatoes. What's the point? Well, as you can see, you got all this room. Okay, that's a hell of a lot of room from the dirt to the top of the barrel. Now what's gonna happen is the sun's gonna beat down on it all beautiful light and the rain's gonna come down on it all beautiful light and that plant's gonna grow. So when the green part of the plant gets to the top and pokes through that soil, you're gonna add a little bit more potting soil, just, just enough to cover it up. You don't, wanna, you don't wanna crush it. Just put a little bit on there, half a bag, maybe quarter of a bag, depending on how big your barrel is, to cover it up and wait for it to pop through again. When it pops through again, cover it up again. Repeat the process all the way to the top of the barrel. Now, what happens is while that thing works its way up, it's leaving behind potatoes all the way up through. So it'll keep growing potatoes all the way up your barrel. So for putting in about 10 or 15 seed potatoes into this barrel, by the time it's done and it's time to harvest it and the, the dirt is full on the top and it's poked back through the top and flowered and all that jazz, by the time all that happens, you're looking at in between one and 200 potatoes per barrel. So these two potatoes that I just did and it took all of seven minutes to do, will yield me about 200 potatoes. Now when they get ready, you can pop them puppies out, skin them up, peel them, and cut, slice them up, and then dehydrate them, that's what I do. And then once, you once I dehydrate them, I vacuum seal them with some oxygen absorbers, and they last 50, 60, 70 years, whatever. So zombies, you know, nuclear war, whatever the hell happens, I'm good. Um, that's a good way to store some stuff. I mean, you get 200 potatoes out of each barrel, even if you get 100 potatoes, that's still 200 potatoes. That's probably 300 pounds at least, you know, two, 300 pounds of potatoes you're gonna get out of these. And you can dehydrate those and take all that water weight out. And then you're looking at maybe 50 pounds of dry dehydrated weight. And you can store that for pretty much forever. And it's a great way to stock up on food and a great way to use a tiny little bit of space because these little puppies will fit right on your deck, right on your side porch, right on the edge of your driveway. It really isn't complicated. As long as you put the holes in the barrel so that they will drain and your potatoes won't rot, you're good to go. Um, you don't have to worry about trying to get it done right away as far as harvesting, because when the fall comes, these suckers can stay in the, in the barrel, in the ground that you've made here in the dirt. It can stay in there all fall and all winter long. And you could, re you could even get it out in the spring if you had to. And the potatoes will still be good. Because what this happens is this acts it's like a little cold storage area, like your root cellar used to be. Same basic principle because you're underground here, because you've made your own little ecosystem and it's underground. So it'll last a long, long time. I would suggest getting them out and dehydrating them so that, so that you're, you know you got them. But pretty cool, pretty neat thing. Um, I'm going to do a lot of this kind of videos, I think. Um, not just stuff about my books and reader questions and all that, but I'm going to do some different survival videos and some wild edible videos and some stuff like this that's kind of cool you know, food storage and that kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. I apologize for how crappy the video was in, in spots, but I was trying to do it with one hand all by myself, and maybe I should have had somebody come film it, but the job had to get done, so there you go. I love you guys. Keep reading, 
Keep loving. Keep liking. See you later.